<laughs> I've got all the. You've bad worked on all the scenarios, there. haven't you? <laughs> adventure van and we're going to be driving on the beach for the very first time in our lives but I'm not too worried about it but Lynn is worried enough for all three of us and I hope she's not right to be worried so why are you so worried dear I don't know it's just something we've never done before and you know First usually, thing, the first thing that, you're excited about those kind I know, of things. I know, but the first thing the captain says is the sand's real soft, and one of his buddies that's been coming over here for years bought him down and had to get a new transmission and had to get a tow truck out here and kind of makes you nervous. Today was rough, an easy slip, and then you're out the door. It is a beautiful day and I do need to live in the moment and enjoy the beautiful scenery around me. It's not safe to be on your own and so far from home. As long as I cannot hear the sound, I lay it in the ground. Got our off-road sticker and I'll put that on now and We'll be good. Got you a nice cool place under there, Maggie.
can convince them to change their minds It's hard to be kind You're accused of thin air Some people We just got a message from somebody. It says, hi, you two. It's from Wendy Oxler. She says, hi, you two. Just letting you know you are very missed. I hope you are having a fantastic time at your new home and share many happy dances. <laughs> Hugs that sweet Maggie for me. Ah, uh, cool. That's pretty sweet. Thanks, Wendy. <laughs> well, Wendy, I bet you're going to be surprised when you hear your name on here, but maybe you'll also be happy to see that we're back out traveling and enjoying our van and enjoying an adventurous uh, time together. And we've missed you guys a bunch too. It's meant a lot to us to get to know so many of you. And it's just cool to hear from people, it isn't is. it? it? And is. you know, we know we've been home for three months getting the new home ready, but we were itching to get out too. And uh, many of you are itching for us to keep traveling. And we're gonna do that. Maybe not as much as we did in the past, but we are going to do that. But thanks, Wendy. Now I haven't been sure with this. It's supposed to be a bliss, being alone, being free in every way. Didn't know what I like the feel of it. Putting out what you had let, but let me tell you These things don't hurt a bit, cause you see I was all wrapped up in everything But now that I'm out I got wind under my wings So tell me that you need
So one of the things we wanted to do this morning is to drive down to the Cape Lookout Lighthouse. So that's what we are attempting to do right now. That I could stay Wish for this moment To never go away But it's all in my mind And though I know That there is nothing to find You're a beautiful sight In the summer night And you can't put up a fight In the misty light Lynn taught me something about the lighthouse. The diamonds that are on here, the black ones point north to south, and the white ones point east to west. And you can't put up a fight in the misty light. So what did you learn from the fishermen? Well, a couple things. 
He loves his uh, truck camper. Does he? And we've talked about that being a, an alternative for the van for us. And a lot of advantages to it, but he's catching fish. But just as we were down there, he got bumped by a five or six foot shark. And we saw that thing swimming around down there. Oh, so, really? So there, there's a bunch of bait fish and big fish in here. Wow. So that's awesome. pretty cool if he catch a he catch a shark. I kept hoping he'd catch one so I could put it on the video. Yeah. Uh, awesome. It's really awesome to be down here. Out here on the point. Catching anything? A bite right now. Are you? Yeah. Maybe he'll chop down. I hope he does. <laughs> you know what? If we catch him five years from now, that'd be What are y'all doing? Good. off in the distance capturing a sunset the very first time that we've used the solo stove on the beach and Maggie is dreaming about getting out on the ocean the time we've had on the outer banks of North Carolina is surely hard to beat so secluded so peaceful
coming to you today from the Cape Lookout National Seashore on the first day of October in 2021. The last time we were on the coast of North Carolina, Owen really wanted to take the van on the beach, but we were told by many people that we shouldn't do that, and that didn't make me comfortable, so because of that, I think we didn't, we didn't do it. You really, really didn't want to come on this beach with our van, did you? No. I was, I was really worried. I wanted to come, it's just I was really worried about it and would it actually perform like it should. But it's worked perfectly. There have been many times as we've driven through the sand that both of us have just grinned and said, she's a beast. She has no trouble with anything at all. This may be our most favorite trip to the beach ever. It has been beautiful, secluded, very, very peaceful. Yeah, our kind of trip. Yeah. I think we could have asked for anything better. It's really, really good to be back on the road. We appreciate you watching, and we hope you join us next time.